we've done gives us the number of characters in a string. Right? That's what length does. That's we've done that. That's easy. Pause gives us the position of a character in a string. Copy gives us part of a given string. So this is what we've done so far. Right, this is what we've done so far. So today I'm doing something called delete. Delete removes characters from a string. So delete removes characters from a string. But adds characters to a string. So if you now want to, if you have a string and you want to take away characters in that string, we will use delete. And if you want to add more characters to that string, you can use insert. Now, what's important for you to understand is that these are pre functions. These are pre defined D I F these are predefined. functions. So these are predefined functions. And you'll notice for each of them, I say they give us. By that I mean they return. Return means they give us something. So length returns the number of characters as a string. Pause returns the position, copy returns part of a given string. So these are functions. Functions return a value. That's important to note, right? Functions return a value. Now here, delete and insert are procedures. They e procedures. Okay. Now procedures are different from functions. Functions return a value as I've stressed. Functions return a value. Procedures do not return a value. All that they do is they perform a task. That's what they do. They perform a task. So you may ask, but do functions not perform a task? Yes, they perform a task. For example, length finds the number of characters in a string. So that's the task. How many characters are there in the string? But a function goes one step further and it returns a value. As an example, with a function, you will say i length is assigned the value length uh, length of str. str is a string variable and i length is an integer variable. So this function is performing a task and it is storing it in a variable. It's returning the answer and it's storing it in a variable. So that's what we mean when we say that the function returns a value. 
So all of these functions, they return a value. And what do we do with the answer? It gives us an answer. We store the answer in a variable. Now with predefined procedures, they, return a, they do not return a value. So when we use delete and insert, we are not going to assign them to a variable. Unlike the way we do with a function. So that is your main difference between a function and a procedure. A function returns a value and you store the value in a variable. Procedures do not return a value. So for delete as an example, I'll delete. I don't store it in a variable. I use delete. I'll tell you how we use it just now with the parameters. So I use delete and I don't say, for example, uh, I don't assign it to a variable. This is incorrect. You don't assign it to a variable the way we do with functions. So when we call these two procedures, we just call them by their name and we give them the parameters that they want. So just keep that at the back of your mind in terms of the difference between a function, a predefined function and a predefined procedure. Procedures don't return values. So there's no need for you to store the value in a variable. So let's look at how the delete works. Delete has three parameters. You're deleting from a string. Where do you want to start deleting from? And how many characters do you want to delete? So let's put down, uh, this is my string you're deleting from. This is the start position where you want to delete from and number of characters that you want deleting to be deleted from the start. So this value must be a number, an integer, and this value must be a number, an integer. And this is obviously where you're deleting from, which is your string. So if I had to use an example, right? I'm going to say delete from my variable str, start from position one and three. So what am I saying? I'm saying from position one in my string, delete three characters. Delete three characters from position one. So if you had to draw a comparison with the parameters in delete, they are very similar to the parameters in copy. Remember, copy had three parameters. And the three parameters with copy was the first parameter is your string. The second parameter is where you're starting to copy from, which is a number. The third parameter is the number of characters you are taking from that start position. So these two are numbers. So the parameters in a copy are pretty much the same as the parameters in a delete. So that's how you use the delete procedure. If we look at the insert procedure, Insert procedure, you are inserting characters into your string at a certain position. So you're inserting some characters into a particular string at a particular position. I'd like to use an example. Saying insert into st insert. Uh, let's say I'm inserting ABC. I'm inserting that into str. 
at position four. So in this case, let's say str has the value computer. str is a string variable. It has the value computer. I'm saying insert ABC into the string computer, but insert it at position four. So what am I going to get? I'm now going to get OM. At position four, I have to have the ABC. So you'll see the A starts at position four, which is what I want, and continue adding all the other characters, P, U, T, E, R. So I've inserted ABC in my string STR at position four. So I'm going to have my string variable. I'm going to get my value from the edit box edt data dot text. That's the edit box that I have on my form. The name of that is called edt data dot text. And the user is going to type something. It's going to be stored in this variable str. Let's delete. So when using a delete, it's a procedure. So I don't need to store the result in a value. So I'm going to say delete. Um, and if you look at this IntelliSense, and if you're wondering how the IntelliSense comes up, I press control and space on my keyboard. Control space brings up your IntelliSense, and you'll see it tells you it's a procedure. Delete, and it tells you the parameters. The first one it wants is the string, then it wants an integer, and then it wants an integer. So I want to delete from STR my string. I want to start from position one, and I want to delete three characters. Whatever I input, right? And the result is going to be stored in STR. So I'm going to read out dot lines dot add, and I'm just going to print STR. And what I'm going to do in here, control C, control V. So the minute the user enters STR, I'm displaying it. I display whatever the user has typed. I do a delete, and then I display STR again. Let's give this a run just to see what gets displayed. So in this case, I'm going to enter computer. And when I click on process, computer is my original value that I entered. And this is coming from str, the same variable. Right? If I can move this, you will be able to see there's the original str, which is computer, the first one. And then the second str is after the delete was done. So you can see that when the delete is takes place, the new value is stored in the str variable because I'm printing str and you'll notice that it has the value after deleting the three characters from position one. So that's how the delete works. Let's now try to do an insert. So now let's create another variable, ch, type string as well. So I'm going to say ch has the value abc, just as an example. And now I'm going to say insert control space to get my IntelliSense. It's a procedure. Insert your substring, what you're inserting, where you're inserting it into, dest is your destination, and at what position 
UI in setting. So I'm in setting CH. My destination is STR, the string I'm in, inserting it into at position four. Let's insert at position four. And now let's display control C, control V. After doing the insert, let's display STR again and let's see what value it has. So when I give that a run, I am now going to type computer. And I click on process. That's the original. That's the delete. This is the insert. Now, remember the insert is inserting it as this was the last yeah. value of STR. So that is why the ABC is there's no COM because that was deleted. So the ABC is at position four and then the remainder of the ER comes in. 